a pod change is required for several reasons. First, a low or empty reservoir. The pod can hold up to 200 units of insulin. When the pod's reservoir contains less than 50 units of insulin, the icon on the status bar of the PDM changes to indicate the exact amount of insulin remaining. The PDM alerts you when the reservoir is low and suggests a pod change. You also need to change your pod when the pod expires. An active pod expires after 72 hours, or about three days of use. When the pod expires, the PDM alerts you. If for some reason you cannot change the pod when it expires, that's OK, provided there is still insulin remaining in the pod. You'll need to replace the pod any time the pod is removed from the infusion site. Whether the pod removal is planned or unplanned, it's important to replace that pod as soon as possible. Finally, you'll need to replace the pod if a pod hazard alarm occurs. During a hazard alarm, the PDM tells you to change the pod. 